Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to build a touch sensor. A sensor that will be lighting our LEDs automatically. So I want to welcome you and see how it's done, how it's designed, how it's simulated and so on and so on. And uh, um, we have some requirement that should be done very important requirements that you should involve in your design of the project and uh, we're going to do our simulation in Pirates this time round. we are not going to use the the KiCad although I had done the design of the project in KiCad and uh, you can try and look at it here we had done the design of this project on KiCad so we can still have a look at it on this other side see how it looked like so this is the design how the 3d appeared although we are going to do some adjustment whereby we are going to include a um, 55 timer uh, and then this design we never had the 55 timer let's look at the schematic you can see this is schematic this is the touch sensor that we did the board itself but we want to simulate it and see the way forward and we see the results of a simulated touch sensor so let's get started uh, we want to do the um, what we need uh, in our design and uh, in our design we shall need a touchpad okay uh, and this is to aid us in the simulation a touchpad will behave as your finger the way you touch the sensor and the way the led comes on and so on we shall need a, a bc 547 transistor these are these are common transistors in the market they are readily available and so on and so on we shall need a resistor uh, and this resistor is uh, the first one we shall be having the 10 kilo ohm resistor uh, okay we shall have another 100k resistor uh, we shall have um 330r resistor and so on and so on then we shall be having our 555 uh, timer uh, to aid in the simulation of the model uh, we shall be having capacitors uh, so our kappa is this two of them one is for 10 nanofarad and the other one is for 10 microfarad like that then we shall be having our um, LED as the final uh, component that is needed to simulate our schematic so I will use an LED you can use of any color green red yellow blue it doesn't matter the color that you choose therefore let's come here back and start the simulation okay if you come to components you already place these components in our we have the 5 5 timer you can place it there like that then we go to other components you have the bc5 something okay bc547 you can place it somewhere there then we have our resistor you can place it there this one you can rotate it uh, clockwise like that then you can drag it you can drag object like that so we want to place this component at the middle Okay, again I can dra drag a bit this one, right click, drag, then place, and then you start by wiring it like that, we need our touchpad, this one here, you can place your touchpad wherever you wish, then you can wire it like that, okay, then from our resistor you go to pin number 4, let's see what you Can, I, can, I can drag this one again okay can drag this one click drag the object like that okay when you come here we can balance it to be at the center yes so the progress is nice okay you need to connect uh, the, from two here you go from here you go to like that 
then you need to place uh, another capacity another okay, system at this point like that okay and this one you can try to edit it properties this one is 100k like that then you can try to it from eight okay sorry sorry you can write something like this okay but I can try to drag these so I can drag the object somewhat presentable okay like that at least to have something presentable then you can move from this one to eight so from here you connect it there like that okay our system is building up we come to capacitor this capacitor here you place it like that then you can edit it control edit control e then the value we have said it's 10 nanofarad like that then you can connect this one to number five like that then you have another capacitor placed on the other side you can drag it like that so we have this resistor this one fitted into number six you should this like that you pick this one like that place it there this one is connected like that okay the system is still building up we come to led this one you're using the green led you place it like that move from pin number three okay you escape I can drag this one a bit, drag the object somehow there, then pick this like that. Then we need to place some capacitor again, resistor I mean. Okay, you rotate this one like this clockwise, then you drag it. Okay, you can edit the value first at 330 R, then you can drag it. Then you can wire it like that. Okay. Okay. So you go on like this. Uh, you connect these ones. You connect these ones. You connect these ones like that. And then you do the simulation. Okay. Now we need power. Okay, in our requirements, so okay, we forgot to add some power. That is around six volts. Then we have some ground. Yes. So you come back here. You add some power. You come to this. You add ground. Yes, you start with ground. Like that. You connect it. Then you come back pick power like that then you pick it you connect like that then now you can control e and put positive six volts enter okay you can try to balance it here like that so you can try to put some texts here so this is a touch Simulation with circuit. Okay, then you can come again here and try to edit Simon Manua logo designs. you can see we have our system here uh, this is our system and therefore we can hit on simulation here you can try to check on some few things okay
check on some few things because of some relationships and lit. So what we do, we can try to edit this one. Okay. See the way forward. Okay. Let me see. Let me simulate it. Okay. What? What are we doing? A bit room. Let's check. CV to five. Okay, C O one. Okay. Let's see this. Okay, we can stop here. Let's see this. This way, let's see. No, it won't work. So it needs to be here. Like that. Then that sends us anywhere it should be. This one goes to this. That one goes to this one. Okay, oh, sorry. We can edit this capacitor. First of all, the value of this capacitor should be edited. And should be something like uh, hmm, like that, and then you enter. Let me try again to simulate it. So we have L. So capacitor 10 kilo ohms. We have capacitor 10 kilo ohm, correct. We have no resistor 10 kilo ohm. We have this mm -hmm. grounded. We have this capacitor 10 kilo ohm goes to CV5, then ground, yes. We have from mm -hmm. correct. We have these ones, these ones, these ones. Object replace again power. Yes. Mm -hmm. We have this one correct, 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 correct. Okay, CV five mm -hmm. ten micro ohms. This one is correct again. Farads. Okay, turn you. Let's simulate again and see. Okay, now you can see our system now is working. Our system is simulated. Uh, yes, you can go try and see when it touches what happens. The system is on. So, our system is now on and uh, Power it on the finger when it approaches the system. You can see it's on like that and like that, like that. So, uh, let me put some probe here so that you can measure something. So, this is DC. We can put a probe here for DC. Now, we can stop the simulation. So, you can put the probe here for DC. Wait, skip. a probe voltage like that okay we can drag it drag the object to 
somewhere there. So let's uh, let let's simulate. So you can see V out is equal to 0 0.2 at that point uh, K, and here V2 uh, V our voltage is negative 1.66. This one cannot power or cannot trigger this uh, diode. So our transistor is not biased. So if you want to bias it, you can see the reversing voltage uh, it's at least 0 0.6. Like that, so 0 0.7 is our biasing voltage. You can see the transistor uh, has powered our system, and this is how to simulate um, a touch sensor. So, the, if you build this circuit, you will come up with a touch sensor. So, thank you, and keep watching on the engineers hub for more and more projects. You can also uh, subscribe to the channel. For you to enjoy technology and PCB designs. Thank you.